This video will briefly show you how to use the Respondus Lockdown Browser with Monitor for the purposes of taking tests in this government course. Find the Lockdown Browser icon on the desktop of the computer that you downloaded it to. Click. Lockdown Browser will spawn. And essentially, this works the same way that any other browser, such as Internet Explorer or um, Firefox or Google Chrome uh, works, except that uh, two things. First of all, uh, you cannot use other programs, including other browsers, while you are uh, 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 in the lockdown monitor. And also, second, uh, by default, the home page, once the browser opens, is set to uh, the Wharton County Junior College Blackboard login page. So we're going to uh, log in to. There we go. Okay, so um, this takes us to the um, uh, course listings that you have uh, enrolled in this semester. And I'm going to just select uh, this one down here, this uh, Government 2306 online course. Obviously, you'll select the course uh, which you're enrolled in. And um, we're going to use the uh, syllabus receipt acknowledgement form, which is set up like a, like a quiz in a, in a test format uh, for the purposes of this course uh, to illustrate how the lockdown browser uh, operates. So I'm going to come over here. Uh, on, a, on a regular exam or on the final exam, you would click on this link here that says exams. Uh, but we're going to go, at this time, we're going to go to the syllabus acknowledgement form. And you can see here uh, a brief uh, explanation of what the purposes of this acknowledgement form are and, um, and how, it, how it operates. I'm just going to click on this link. Uh, again, it's set up in the same way that a quiz or an exam would be set up. Um, that will uh, open this page and those there's some brief instructions or, or a description of the uh, of the exam uh, or in this case the acknowledgement form that you're looking at uh, i'm going to click on this begin button and before it takes you to the exam itself or in this case the acknowledgement form itself uh, it runs through a series of things uh, uh, items to make sure that the um, uh, that the Respondus Lockdown uh, Browser and the Monitor portion are functioning uh, correctly. The first thing that you'll have to do is click on this Agree button for uh, indicating that you agree with the terms of the use. And this next step is a webcam check um, to make sure that your webcam is on and functioning correctly and so on. Uh, so notice here it says, if your webcam and or microphone isn't built into the computer, connect them now. In the window below, choose Allow and Remember, uh, and re the Allow button and the Remember button. Uh, both of these must be selected in order to continue, and then uh, click on the Close button. So I'm going to check on Allow, and I'm going to check on Remember, and then I'm going to click Close button. Okay, very good. You see now we have uh, an indication that the uh, webcam is in fact on and working. Okay, so I'm going to click on the Yes button. This takes me to the next step, uh, which is, uh, or the next uh, part of the step, which is to adjust the camera uh, so that the image appears properly in uh, the window. So in this particular case, it's set up pretty well uh, but it may be that you have your webcam slightly askew, something like that, or perhaps the, um, the lighting is not very good and so on. So this just gives you an opportunity to make sure that um, uh, you can clearly be seen uh, in the webcam. Okay, And we're going to record a little five-second video here to uh, verify that. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. To uh, verify that. Okay. 
I'm going to try that again. I don't think that worked very well. Okay, see myself in the uh, webcam. Now I'm going to click on record and it's recording a video now. It's counting down two seconds remaining, one second remaining. And now it's loading on record. And it's recording a video now. It's counting down two seconds remaining, one. Okay, very good. So now we can click on the continue button. And uh, again, this uh, step um, is designed to make sure that you uh, or uh, in proper view of the camera and also um, to ensure that you are the person who's actually supposed to be taking the exam it gives us the option to uh, to take a picture here so and we definitely want to do that every time we take an exam uh, in this course so I'm going to hold up my ID you have a WCJC ID uh, that looks a little bit like this I suppose and I'm going to click on this take picture button and there we have that for the record that um, you are the person who is actually logged in and uh, preparing, getting ready to take the exam. I'm going to click on the continue button and that's going to take me to uh, the show. I don't know why this is asking me to do it again, but here we go. Um, we have made doubly sure now that we have the uh, student photo and student ID. Uh, this uh, step is designed to make sure that um, uh, the integrity of the test taking environment is preserved. So uh, what you'll do uh, when you're taking an exam, you don't have to do it for the purposes of this uh, syllabus acknowledgement, but um, certainly for regular exams and the final exam, you'll want to take your webcam and you know show the keyboard area, uh, show the uh, like a little slack here on the line. Show the uh, area that you're working at. Uh, my my uh, desktop is actually pretty cluttered right now here at the beginning of the semester as I've got lots of tasks going on. But uh, when you're taking an exam, you would want the entire area to be clear of um, any notes or your textbook is put away. Just like in your, if you're in a classroom taking an exam, I'm going to ask you to uh, take all of your notes, all of you know your textbook, everything uh, except for the test itself, uh, and put that in your book bag. Put that underneath your desk and so on. I um, like to ensure in the classroom situation that uh, there are no uh, there's no uh, there are no questions that are raised and this uh, environment check is for the purposes of doing that so we're going to uh, start recording a little environment check here okay so I'm showing my work area and so on and I'm not doing a very good job on it. You'll want to be a little bit more diligent than I am being right now uh, when it comes time for you to do that. Um, okay, so we're going to stop recording. That provides the environment check. I'm going to check here. It actually plays it back for me. Okay, so I'm showing my work area and so on. And I'm not doing a very good job on it. You'll want to be a little bit more diligent than I am doing right now. Uh, when it comes time for you to do that. Um, okay, so we're going to stop. All right, so I'm going to click the continue button. And that takes me to uh, the next step, which is some additional instructions. Um, I will. Um, uh, have uh, a set of instructions. Uh, th these are sort of the default instructions that are in the lockdown browser. Uh, I will set up uh, a brief set of specific instructions for you with each exam that we are taking in the course. Okay, so I'm going to click on continue and finally we're ready to begin. So I'm going to click on this button begin exam and now that takes me to the syllabus acknowledgement form. And let's just go ahead and do this. I'll show you how easy this part of it is too. Um, so you can get this task out of the way early in the semester. Uh, as I said, this acknowledgement form is set up as in a quiz format. And there's just one question here. 
uh, it reads, this form serves as your acknowledgement that you have received or accessed a course syllabus and have read and understand course requirements and course policies. You must choose, I acknowledge that I have received and read the course syllabus. I understand course requirements and agree to comply with all course policies. Okay, so I'm going to click that option there. Number two, it says this is not a permissible answer. If you click number two and submit that, uh, you will not have indicated uh, what the college is requiring you to indicate, which is that you have, in fact, received a course syllabus. Okay, So I'm going to click on the Save and Submit button. It will give me a little uh, dialog box here that indicates a confirmation that the test is submitted. I'm going to click on OK. And then uh, we're done with that. And this tells me that my webcam recording uh, is complete. Uh, everything went smoothly, no issues to report. And we're going to click on that. Uh, this confirmation here indicates that the syllabus acknowledgement form was, uh, was saved and submitted. I can click OK there. And um, with every exam you take in this course, the regular exams and the final exam, uh, Blackboard will report to you uh, your score, a raw score, uh, that indicates the uh, number of points based on, uh, which is a percentage of the number of questions that you answered correctly. Since there was only one question on this uh, acknowledgement form, uh, it indicates that I got one out of one question, and it only took me a minute to complete that exercise. So I'm going to click on OK, and uh, I'm done with that task. Okay, so uh, again, uh, it may seem daunting at first uh, using this lockdown browser with Monitor, but it's actually very easy. And once you, you know, use it to uh, successfully complete this task of um, uh, indicating your acknowledgement of syllabus receipt and perhaps after you take the first regular exam. At, at some point, hopefully uh, not too far along, uh, this will become second nature and, and, and really won't be any sort of problem at all. Okay, so um, that's it. And um, you can move on now with your next task and getting started with the course.